everyone, my name is Jason Lanier, and this is a video about why using modifiers on your lights as a photographer matters. In this video that I shot at the beautiful Bonneville Salt Flats in Utah, I'm going to show you the difference that modification makes on highlights, shadows, and the spread of light with three different examples in the same lighting scenario with the same light. First off, I'll be using a 7-foot parabolic. Second, I'll be using the built-in modification or smart diffusion that comes with the light. And third, I'll be shooting a bear with no modification applied at all. I'll also share some examples of work that I've done with the three different lighting scenarios, and I hope it helps. Let's take a look at it from a bird's eye view to start. The first example is with the seven foot parabolic. This spreads the light the furthest as well as softens it the most. Look at the spread of the light as well as the soft shadows as they fall off behind the rock. Pay attention to that in the next examples. The second example is with built-in diffusion called Smart Diffusion. Without the modifier, the spread decreases and the shadows get harder or darker, as you see behind the rock. The third example is with No Diffusion. The spread of the light shrinks even more and the shadows get even harder. These examples that I'm showing with the rocks have direct correlations to how they will appear on people or groups when taking their images. Now let's take a look at the same setup from the ground level. First up is the parabolic. Pay attention to the highlights on the rocks. That is how this light will appear on a person's face. Also take a look at the shadows behind the rock. That's how the shadows would appear on a person's neck as fall off. Now these images here were shot with this exact setup. As you can see, there is a very large spread of light and it is very soft, beautiful quality light. With the built-in diffusion, you can see the highlights get brighter and the shadows get darker. But it's still very acceptable for portraiture and is especially impressive because it's built in and isn't using a modifier. These examples show what you can do with this exact setup. You can create some killer shots because that smart diffusion is really awesome. With no diffusion, you are increasing your highlights and shadows to the max, which can be very cool for more high fashion kind of looks or something like you'd see on an album cover. Harder shadows around the nose will really show when you use no diffusion, as you can see in the picture here. It's really important that we know when and how to use modifiers so we can get the look that we want in our images. Please note these examples are even softer than you would see with a traditional strobe or monolight because I'm using an LED. For this tutorial, I use the Rotolite Titan X1, which is the only light that has the built-in smart diffusion built inside of it. For more information on these lights and for the best deals and bundles out there, go to rotolite.com slash jasonoffers. And thanks for watching. Until next time, keep shooting, never give up on your dreams, find out gear that works for you, and remember, you only have one chance to get it right. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.